AAA. Use of hemp may cause genetic damage and influence the next generations. In a recent publication, researchers linked the use of cannabis to serious cellular and genetic damage that greatly increases risk of malignant cancer. Research also suggests that damage may potentially influence the next generations. Behind the research are researchers from the University of Western Australia. In his works, which appeared in the journal Addiction Biology, shown that hemp contributes to severe damage cellular and genetic, increasing the risk of cancer and potentially affecting the next generations. The authors of the publication examined the mechanisms of stress mitochondrial cannabinoid-induced mitochondrial. In their work, they described cannabis as a genotoxic substance, which means it damages genetic material in cells. These damages may lead to occurrence mutations in DNA that contribute to the development of cancer. They can also accelerate the aging process of the body. Moreover, scientists indicate that genetic damage the use of cannabis can be transgenerative. That means, that through damaged sperm and ova can be transferred the next generation. Researchers linked existing evidence that use hemp disrupts cellular energy production by mitochondria impairment with new discoveries published in two recent works that have shown in the pages of science. They prove that mitochondrial dysfunction can cause chromosome damage, leading to higher indicators cancer, congenital malformations, and premature aging. It should be noted that these studies were not conducted at the context of the use of cannabis, However, as the authors of the new publication point out, provide significant insights on some observations on certain observations use of hemp that had not been well understood before, such as that hemp causes both mitochondrial and genetic damage. Researchers Australia suggests that genotoxic damage associated with cannabis may to be widespread. You can expect genotoxic damage to be expressed increased incidence of cancer, birth, and accelerated aging process pathologies that are increasingly observed in modern research. Although the genotoxicity of cannabinoids has long been overlooked, in fact it can occur around us through fast induction of egg, sperm, zygothic, fetus and organisms adults, with a lot of evidence that indicates the intergenerational effect. This one the multi-generational dimension of the genotoxicity of cannabinoids changes the framework of the discussion to the topic of the legalization of cannabis, the authors wrote in the publication. With the power of hemp products and increasing consumption index, the effects identified in these studies are severe public health concerns, especially with regard to the transgenerative effects. The connection we described between marijuana use and genotoxicity has far-reaching consequences. This new research shows how genetic damage caused by marijuana use can be transmitted from a generation by the next. This should change the framework for discussion on legalization marijuana from a personal choice for one that potentially includes much next generations, said Dr. Stuart Reese, CEO author of the paper. Greenhouse gas emissions cause shrinking the stratosphere. The thickness of the stratosphere has decreased by 400 meters for years 80. The 20th century and will decrease by another kilometer to 2080. The scientists. Greenhouse gas emissions are responsible for this. These changes may affect for satellite operations, GPS navigation system and radio communications. International team of climatologists find evidence to indicate that man-made greenhouse gases led to shrink of the stratosphere. Discoveries described in the journal Environmental Research Letters shows how profound human has on the planet. The stratosphere extends from about 20 kilometers to 60 kilometers above the surface of the Earth. Below is a troposphere, a layer stretching from the planet's surface to about 20 kilometers. The stratosphere by the way having an ozone layer, plays an important role in absorbing the harmful the ultraviolet radiation. However, as the last measurements showed, the layer this one is shrinking. So far, loss of stratosphere thickness largely the ozone depletion is attributed to the depletion of the ozone layer as a result of widespread use by many decades of freons, chlorofluorocarbons, CFC. 
However, the gradual withdraining CFCs from use allowed to significantly rebuild the ozone layer over the past 20 years, reducing concerns about permanent damage the stratosphere. But new research reveals the stratosphere still it shrinks, even though CFC consumption has decreased and the ozone layer to a large extent it has rebuilt, indicating that another factor must drive the disturbing the trend. Previous studies have shown that the troposphere is thickening with Kostkog cogrees. This indicated the shrinking of the stratosphere because of the pressure from below, but the new study is the first to show it. As part of the new study, scientists tried to learn more of the impact of greenhouse gas emissions on the stratosphere. For this purpose, they obtained data satellite dating back to the 1980s. They added them to the model computer that also included chemical interactions in the atmosphere and the influence of the ozone layer. These data were also compared with climate models in which the increase in carbon dioxide emissions during this period was taken into account. Such emissions they caused the troposphere to heat up and expand, slicing in this way the stratosphere from the bottom and compressing it. Models also showed that when the dioxide the coal penetrated the stratosphere, had a cooling effect. This drop temperatures force gases in this layer of atmospheric to reduce their volume, which leads to an even greater loss of the stratosphere. Calculations have shown that since the 1980s the stratosphere has decreased by about 400 meters, which translates to about 1% of its thickness. Further development of models has shown that the stratosphere will be it continues to thin as long as greenhouse gases are emitted into the atmosphere. Scientists suggest the stratosphere may shrink by a kilometer within a few seconds another 60 years. Models also showed that changes in the ozone layer had low impact on thin the stratosphere. According to scientists, the constant shrinking of the stratosphere CORRated well with ever-increasing greenhouse gas emissions over the course of the last 40 years, which suggests that ours are indeed responsible for this change the emissions. We found that the stratosphere shrinks by more than 100 meters a decade from 1980 of the year. We have also proven that it is caused by greenhouse gases, explained the study's author Juan Antonio Aiel of the University of Vigo in Spain. In the most likely scenario of climate change, the stratosphere our planet could lose 4% of its vertical range, or about 1.3 kilometers to 2080, he added. Scientists note that it is still unclear what effect on the planet may have a shrinking stratosphere, but indicate that it may affect satellite trajectories and how radio waves propagation, which could eventually bounce on GPS navigation.